Well, my name is Kurt Burkhardt, and I'm the Executive Director of the Charlottesville Albemarle Convention and Visitors Bureau. And, be, and on behalf of my colleagues at the Bureau, I want to thank you for coming this afternoon to celebrate National Travel and Tourism Week. In addition to enjoying the good company and fine ambiance of today's event, today is when we take some time to recognize our partners in tourism who have made so many contributions to help make this market exciting, um, in, I would say enticing, um, all the things that uh, you look out this window and would come to expect in uh, a place that's marketed uh, with the beauty of Charlottesville and Albemarle County. So uh, to you, I want to I want to thank you. The awards we will present in just a few minutes are several, and the most noteworthy being the Tourism Achievement Award, which was formerly the Tourism Person of the Year Award. Since 1996, this award has been one of the CACBB Board of Directors' most coveted, most prideful awards that take a lot of pride in, in going through a selection process and making this year's presentation. The recipient this year will join a long list of distinguished individuals who have earned this prestigious recognition. There are three additional awards, New Horizons, The Big Picture, and Crystal Vision. All new and will be presented along with the Annual Tourism Achievement Award. I'd like uh, for this moment uh, for the board members in the room to raise their hand and be recognized, please. Thank you. Well, we've tried to corral one departed board member shortly after she retired, but global, global travel took her center stage. Uh, Peppy Linden, the former executive director of the Children's Discovery Center. I'd like for you to come up here, Peppy, and please accept the well-deserved honor. <coughs> Peppy? I mean, I don't have any trouble selling Charlottesville, telling people to come here, not live, just visit. We don't need to do infrastructure when they come to visit. Every time I walk down the mall and somebody's confused at the directory, I ask them if I tell them I live in, well, I tell them I live downtown, I used to work downtown, may I help them? We, every time I travel, go somewhere, and I was just in Morocco, um, I come home and I think, what a beautiful, rich, culturally interesting area we live in, and I'm here by choice. So, thank you, it was a delight to work with you. Now it's my pleasure to introduce George Benford, owner extraordinaire of Sips, <laughs> wine and champagne, champagne bar and bistro, and as I said, who also serves as the vice chairman of the Charlottesville Albemarle Convention Visitors Bureau. George? This afternoon, we have that opportunity to recognize four outstanding recipients of special awards that are given by the CACVB. To assist in this first presentation, the big picture, as we call it, is our own Charlottesville Susan Payne, who does so much for the travel industry and, and is on the VTC, in fact, Vice Chairman and next Chairman of the VTC. Susan. At the time I was working on the marketing plans for the state, I had the opportunity to see Vintage, the winemaker's year. Bill and Ben found a passionate and determined friend in me with a desire to bring their film to market. I believed it was the visual component that we lacked to tell the story of Virginia wine. Fortunately, Todd Haymor, Secretary of Agriculture, listened and agreed. He helped with a plan to raise state funds from many departments to bring the film to PBS, which increased the awareness of Virginia wine across the county and internationally. The, this creative partnership was a win, a win for all of us. Both Todd and I have signed vintage posters in our offices as a reminder of the road that we took and how wonderful it has been. Bill Reifenberger and Ben Clore head up Silverthorne, a full-service production company in Charlottesville. They are truly masters in the specialty area of documentary film, making and deserving, making them very deserving of our next award. Bill, I saw you here, and if you would come forward. Well, thanks very much, and I mean, I was just telling Ben, we, we feel like we know so many of you here in the room through the process of making this film. Um, Susan, such a fantastic supporter of the project, as was Kurt and the CACB team and the Virginia Tourism Corporation and Todd Haymore and the, uh, the, um, the whole um, Department of Agriculture. So we feel not just that we had a, not, it's what we do for a living making films, but we also really enjoy the process of it and all the friendships and relationships that we make. Um, and so we're very happy that we came up with a product that, um, that seems to be um, 
showcasing the area and really letting folks know what a wonderful place we live in. Um, so people ask us, you know, a lot what we liked about the film or what our favorite part was making it. And honestly, my wife Karen and I have lived right down the road here in Crozet for 10 years. And sometimes you kind of get in the routine, especially with young kids, of doing the same thing over again. But going out and shooting and going out to the wineries and traveling around and, you know, being in a vineyard at 6 in the morning and, or 5 in the morning and, you know, or, or being around, it's just, it, just, we just, it just really made me fall in love again with this area and realize how fortunate we are to live in such a wonderful place, not just in terms of the uh, natural beauty, but also the people that live and work here. Um, so, yeah, it was a wonderful process and, we, you know, we count, some of the, we count many of the people that we met along the way as some of our true friends that we'll have for a long time. So, um, sure. Yeah, just you know, I just want to thank you all so much for helping us make this film too. It's it takes a little bit of a leap of faith when two guys walk into your office and say, "Yeah, we're looking for about a half a million dollars." <laughs> You'll be glad you helped us out. We promise you. Uh, but you know, fortunately, everybody here was uh, able to help make that possible, and we really appreciate it. We're glad we got the opportunity to work with you, and thank you. On behalf of everyone here, I want to um, present this award. The New Horizons Award is presented to Piedmont Rail Coalition for its belief in and steadfast advocacy to extend rail service, which has provided visitors with a new, cost-effective, and efficient avenue of travel to the greater Charlottesville region. Meredith, please come up here. Thank you. So, uh, thank you very much for this, and I look forward to working with all of you more uh, in the future as we promote rail travel in Virginia. It is, as, as was said, an efficient and very affordable uh, and these days a much more reliable way of traveling. I get two really big charges out of, out of knowing how, how successful this train has been. And one of them is just learning that it is one of the very few trains in the entire world, actually, that made a profit last year, and that was its first year. Um, and it actually made $1.3 million in its first year, and Amtrak has referred to this train as its most successful state-supported train in its entire national system. And that is a reference to over 150 trains running across the country in 15 different states. So we have a lot to be proud of in this region, and uh, thank you very much for your support for the train. We all have to do our part in the future, too, to keep it successful. And the other thing that gives me a big charge, and this is really uh, the, the biggest, is just being known as the train lady. <laughs> and what that means is, Anytime I come to, to somewhere like this, a gathering, people begin to tell me their stories of traveling on this train. And I've talked to a number of you in this room who the minute they, they see me, they start talking about the trip they're planning and the trip they've had or how their, their, their child comes and goes uh, from Charlottesville to Washington and New York on the train. And that, I have to tell you, is the most gratifying part of this, is just knowing that it really is having an effect on people's lives, and it makes it easier to get from here to there. So we have, we have 18 million, I understand, uh, annual visitors to the Washington, D.C. area every year. I always say if 1% of them got on this train and came to Charlottesville and stayed just one night, you know what the impact on, on your industry would be, be something like 180,000 room nights a year. So we know that southbound is what we're interested in when it comes to tourism. We love it going northbound, but we want people to come south. And there's a lot to see here, and hopefully this is a way that, um, that more and more people will use to get to our area for tourism. So thank you. Kurt, thank you very much. I wow. We've got with us today Brad Savage, 106.1 The Corner, my DJ. As you know, I'm a huge fan of music, and I'm probably one of these people that, that people get tired of me hearing saying Charlottesville is the next Austin. It's the Austin of the East. It should be. It's got more live music, and we're going to continue live music and bringing music to this town. So to present the Crystal Vision Award, which is one more left after this, 
I have Brad Savage. Well, the recipient of our Crystal Vision Award is well known, not just in Charlottesville or Central Virginia, but really on a national scale throughout the U.S. And I've had the pleasure to work with this company on many concerts and other events that they promote. And uh, even, uh, you know, in, in the radio business, you're supposed to want to get to, you know, get to New York, get to L.A., move up in market size. There's really no reason for me as a broadcaster to do that. We're getting all the same bands that are playing these major markets. And uh, it's, it's fantastic. We just have to keep that going. And heck, just this morning, huge news broke. Grammy-winning band Arcade Fire is coming to Charlottesville. It's just announced today. One, and, and these are the guys, yes. This is the band that won the Album of the Year Grammy and beat out Lady Gaga and Katy Perry and, uh, you know, all these big names. And they're doing two shows this summer in the U.S. One of them is Charlottesville, and the second show is the Bonnaroo Festival. So, uh, uh, two, sh two shows. And this is just today, just any old average Tuesday uh, in Charlottesville. The Crystal Vision is presented to Star Hill Presents for its vision to create exciting and accessible venues for musical enjoyment in Charlottesville, adding significantly to the local quality of live and enhanced visitor experience. Kirby Huddle, please come up. Red Light Management, which is our parent company, is a force to be reckoned with in the music industry and, and the entire United States. A uh, very influential music blogger just yesterday put Korn as number three most powerful person in the music industry in the world, right behind Irving Azoff, who's been around forever. Um, Danny, myself, the rest of our staff, we're lucky enough to be able to work with an organization that really has a passion for music. Um, Red Light manages artists ranging from the Dave Matthews Band to Fish to Tim McGraw, Faith Hill, um, an incredible talent of artists. We have relationships throughout the industry and we're able to use those relationships to bring these you know, top level Grammy Award winning talent to our Charlottesville, which is uh, a pretty amazing thing. Having gone to UVA back in the 80s, if you wanted to see anyone, you got in your car and you drove. Maybe two hours, maybe four hours, maybe six hours, but artists didn't come to Charlottesville because we didn't have the venues. And luckily now, we've got the Jefferson, the Pavilion, all the way up to John Paul Jones Arena, to where basically any size artist can ultimately play Charlottesville. Our last award uh, is the, the big one. The who's who of travel and tourism have received this annual award uh, for since 1999. Since 96. 96, yes. okay. And uh, to present the 2011 Tourism Achievement Award, Greg McDonald, Mickey Tavern, the winner of the 2006 award. Has, it has been a real sense of accomplishment and pride that he has watched our downtown become a fuller tourist destination with our offering of retail, dining, and entertainment options with plenty of parking. <laughs> so now there's little surprise for either him or you all. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the recipient of the 2011 Tourism Achievement Award, our friend, neighbor, and colleague, Bob Strode. It's a real honor to get this, but on behalf of everybody that works downtown, and that is hundreds of people. Um, from the developers and business owners and restaurant owners and you know everybody works so hard uh, to make downtown successful and have now for here's the cat out of the bag 35 years <clears throat> we're celebrating an anniversary in July please come um, so all these years all these people have been working so hard to make downtown successful and I've just really enjoyed and been honored to be a part of that uh, so this award I'm really happy to accept it on behalf of everybody who's been involved in this process and and we look forward to working on this for the next 35 years and in the future. I will be here. <laughs>